Welcome to the new Bryze Comics. In this video, we're gonna do a little bit of a shop tour, and then we've also got a lot of requests from different people saying they wanna see the town of Kalispell, Montana, where we just moved. So we're gonna do a little vlog type video towards the end, so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing uh, you know, the town of Kalispell. And we're also gonna check out Whitefish. And we're gonna to go to uh, one of my favorite restaurants so far. First, we always do a giveaway here on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a free slab. This month, we're giving away a 12 cent silver Age Amazing Spider-Man. And if you head over to BryceComics.com and sign up for the newsletter over there, you're entered to win a free slab. This month we're giving away Star Wars number one. And we have a ton of new inventory coming. It's always coming and that newsletter is where you get first access to uh, all the new inventory. Sometimes if you wait for it to come uh, through the video, they're already gone. Um, and you can use code COLLECT10 for 10% off all in stock items at BryceComics.com and that code is always active. We also have a whatnot show tomorrow if you're watching this the day it comes out and in like an hour if you're watching this right when it comes out we're doing a vintage raw book show on whatnot uh, this thursday the day this video comes out and a slab show on friday the day after this video comes out there's a link in the description for 15 dollars towards your first purchase on whatnot and we always have items in the buy it now for 15 bucks it's gonna be a ton of fun uh last time we had a triple winner of giveaways got to spin the wheel for his chance at a thousand dollars and we're gonna bring that back so i want to start with this room here this is we also got a new lapel mic you see how I can turn away from the camera and you should probably be able to hear me just the same we're stepping it up folks we're stepping it up hopefully this is working at the moment otherwise it'll be very you'll have to cut that part out Marcus <laughs> so I want to start with this this is the inventory storage section of Bryce comics right here with these new custom cabinets from my friend Justin Justin lives in Whitefish, it's about uh, 15 minutes away from where we are, and I traded him comics in trade for these custom cabinets throughout the house. It was absolutely awesome. And in a future video, we're gonna um, do another collaboration with Justin because this is like, the, I told him to do like a plywood version. He also does like a super high-end version with very nice finishes. And these also have really nice finishes. Like you've got beveled edges and uh, all kinds of awesome little details on these. I'm super, super happy with them. But the most impressive and uh, exciting thing is these pull-out slab drawers, which you can um, pull out. So now we have our inventory cataloged like this. Instead of having a single row of slabs on the ground and you're always bent over trying to figure it out, here you're you know only slightly bent over. You can have them all open at the same time and they're not gonna pull away from the wall because they're attached to the wall. Just very, very nice craftsmanship. Awesome, can't, can't say how happy I am about these. You can close them quickly. They've got the, the soft close cabinets that go all the way. I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. We've wanted something like this for years, um, but we just never had the resource. And then he just contacted me and was like, hey, can I do this for you? I was like, yes. So this one over here is more just like um, flat shelves. We're gonna get rid of all long boxes and only have short boxes so that stuff's accessible. Um, and then up here is like our whatnot stuff, just the perfect inventory workstation. And then over here we have our whatnot wall. So this is where it happens one book at a time, folks. If you've ever been to a show, it's just one slab at a time. This wall is gonna get a lot of use um, and it's just the perfect setup because then I can put stuff right there. Um, this is the shipping station. It goes wall to wall. We can probably even fit another station so we get four people packaging, uh, certainly three comfortably. Uh, after we have you know a big whatnot show, it's all hands on deck or mystery box or something. This is the most organized we've ever had a shipping station. It's just got all the supplies, everything right there. Super, super nice to have everything just laid out and ready to go. This we decided to keep as a living area. So it's got a bar area over here um, with a little mini fridge down over there and a bunch of storage space. Like if we wanted to have this be a proper break room. Um, but I also have the kitchen upstairs. So I find myself just going upstairs to the kitchen, but we'll see how that uh, develops over time. But we just kept this as a living station, living area, um, foosball table, we'll have some more fun stuff. So my son and I and everybody, guests and everybody have just fun stuff to do. Um, movie theater section. My son decided to use Scarlet Witch as a coat hanger yesterday, and so now Scarlet Witch is broken, which honestly, 
I'm so over statues because of that. Like they just, they're just so fragile. Um, and then in here is the YouTube studio. So we got a couple more statues, which happen to have made the journey from California, Montana without getting broken, which is absolutely amazing. My absolute favorite statue here, the Hulk statue, is like $2,500. This thing is like 250 pounds. It's an absolute beast. Um, this is the rest of my PC, my personal collection. And what you'll notice is we have a much smaller slab wall, which honestly, I really like because what I'm gonna be able to do is just switch things out uh, like every other video or however often I want to. And I, I like that concept. Instead of having it all up on the wall, you know, and gets overwhelming, just a small, powerful display of whatever, you know, I might just do all modern variants one time or all my vintage stuff. So I'm actually really happy with the, the small scale of this. So over here, obviously, is a desk. Uh, my desk and the Stanley section. I'll hit this light. Maybe that'll be, well, we still got to figure out lighting and stuff, but that's my um, first piece of original art there by John Ramita Sr., signed by John Ramita Sr., also signed by Stan Lee. It's the splash page of that comic right there, which is Untold Tales of Spider-Man Minus One, which is Spider-Man's parents. I, it's actually a cool story, but it's all just just a cool splash page by, you know, some of my, one of my favorite artists, John Ramita, and signed by Stan the Man. Stan, super influential in my life, just from the way he lived his life. So that's my little ode to Stan. And so, yeah, just perfect amount of space, everything you need, nothing you don't. Uh, we got some windows here, but being the freak that I am, I always keep them closed because I don't want that UV light hitting my comics. Um, I'm gonna put a sauna and a cold plunge out there and a fire pit right here and sitting area. So it's gonna be really nice when the weather gets a little bit better. We got a little bit of snow a couple days ago. And then the last part of, we've got some storage space in there. Um, and then this room over here is young Marcus and young Riley's office. So we've got the two computers set up this table over here is also a custom build by Justin, um, which is just the perfect height. I hate low tables. You get like one of those folding tables a little bit too low and you bend your back. By the time you're done with a couple hundred slabs, your back certain so this is the perfect height. We got the lighting figured out somewhat. It's not perfect, but what we have found for lighting is indirect light so right there where you can see those two lights we take the picture right in the middle and that is how you get a good picture of a slab as a very difficult product to uh, photograph because it's everything is reflective and shiny this table over here is the pressing which i just got set up i need to um, start running these presses. So I sold all the presses in uh, Paradise and then bought new ones. These are only about 200 bucks. This is what I recommend um, if you're doing just basic pressing. It's Fancier Studio um, from Amazon. It's a 15 by 15 and then you get a little 15 by 15 aluminum plate which you can also find on Amazon and that plate goes on the pad and then you've got a really nice setup for about 250 bucks out the door when you factor in the release paper and all the paper and everything that goes with it for about 250 bucks. You can have a really nice pressing setup that is perfect for like modern stuff. If you're going to get into super high value, you're going to want to go with something that's not a clamshell. This is a clamshell press. They have uh, seal presses that are for, you know, but for basic stuff, this is, this is more than enough. I was really happy with them. It just made more sense to sell the ones in paradise and buy new ones. Um, so yeah, another custom table here by Justin, as you can see, just, you know, nice beveled edges on the, on the legs. It's just really nice, super sturdy. I mean, they could probably hold thousands of pounds. So that's it. That's all it takes. I mean, there's also another storage room and a garage where we keep some supplies and stuff, but, um, that's all it takes to have a, a thriving online comic book store that sells mostly slabs. You know, if it was raw books, you definitely would need more space. Um, but we're getting it done with this. We're super happy with this. So with that, let's hop in the car. We'll take a quick tour of the actual town of Kalispell and Whitefish, Montana. 
Loading up in the old Brymobile. Marcus, throw up on the screen a picture of the Brymobile from a couple days ago when we got that snow. Action. All right, so here we are at the intersection uh, right by the shop and my house. And across the street here you have the blue cow. And if you're lucky, Marcus will stop there and put on the screen a, a close-up image of how we do uh, cow statues in Montana. Um, and then uh, over here, so about two minutes from my house is the gym, which is right here. And then about three minutes this way is my kid's school. And then about five minutes the other way is all the big box stores. You got like your Home Depots and uh, Walmarts and Targets and stuff like that. So it's super centrally located. Um, and uh, I've never lived in a house that was super centrally located. I've always been like, you know, 10 to 30 minute drive to get to stuff. So it's super, super cool to be just centrally located. Uh, the gym is, I've, I'm completely addicted to going to the gym right now, doing a, uh, like some cardio and weights and then a sauna and cold shower. So I just got, I just got back from the gym and the sauna, somebody taped the sauna temperature up and that thing just never shuts off. And today it was up to 210 degrees in the yes. sauna. And I was like, I slow cooked ribs at 225. So basically, like if you stay in there long enough, like you will be medium rare. Oh my god! But it just feels great. So uh, this way, I don't know if you could see the mountains. We are in a valley here. And we're surrounded uh, by mountains. Those are the craggy peaks of Mount Kilimatula, which uh, was established in 1803 by the uh, Aztecs and Mayans. That so, is not correct, guys. A, a little, uh, little uh, history of the geography here. Um, and so we're heading into downtown Kalispell and we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so here we are getting into downtown Kalispell. And to be honest, for me, it leaves something to be desired. I mean, you could see it has its charm. It's you know, like just like an old school mountain town. Look at that, you got the guy climbing the, the Rocky Mountain Outfitters over there. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, there's, you know, there's a few good restaurants down here. Uh, what did you think? Didn't you say you liked it, Riley? Did you like the downtown? It was really pretty. Right. It's definitely lots of uh, inspiration from like the 60s and 70s, I'd say, throughout the town. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, this place actually has the best ranch dressing that I've ever tasted in my life. Wheat Montana Bakery and Deli. You got to go there and get a gallon of ranch. Wow. Um, I love ranch. Yeah, so for whatever downtown Kalispell lacks, downtown Whitefish makes up for it. So we're going to turn around and head to Whitefish. All right, so we're heading towards Whitefish, which is about 15 minutes from my house. And those slopes that you see directly in front of us is Whitefish Mountain Ski Resort. Um, it's a little late in the season. We're pushing April. Like I, I haven't gone there yet, but I think it's decent skiing um, and snowboarding. Like I mean, obviously the big selling point is it's 15 minutes from my house. Um, there's also another ski resort. It's Blacktail Mountain in Lakeside, Montana, which is about 15 minutes in a different direction. So there's two ski resorts within uh, 30 minutes, about 15 miles, I meant to say. And this is where you just have like all the big box stores and stuff, all your Walmarts and Hobby Lobbies and Kohl's and chains and everything that you can need. So I know that I'm a broken record about this and most people you know, that follow the channel have been watching know like why I moved here, but I know inevitably there's gonna be people that are like, but why here? And so just really quickly, um, you know, we're coming from Paradise, California, which um, had that huge wildfire about, what was it, five or six years ago now? Five years ago now, um, that completely wiped out the town. So we, our old shop was in Paradise that had nothing. I mean, no restaurants, no active, you had to, you had to drive to Chico to get anything. And um, so we're coming from a place where this is a major upgrade, wouldn't you say, Marcus and Riley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Chick-fil-A back there. So, you know, that's the first thing about like, this is a major upgrade from where we were. Um, but the other main reason is that my, I followed my ex-wife here um, so they could be closer to my five-year-old son because um, I, she really, really wanted to move here. And so 
that's the main driving factor. Um, and, and then it's not that bad. I mean, it's actually kind of a great place to live and um, raise a family and there's tons of activity. So today, we're, you're not gonna get any of the nature stuff. And the biggest selling point of Kalispell and Whitefish and Montana, I think in general, is the nature. And so, you know, we're just doing the town stuff today um, because uh, a lot of the trails, you know, still have snow on the trails and a lot of parts of Glacier National Park are still closed, but um, uh, Glacier National Park is right here near Whitefish. I mean, I, I think it's 30 minutes from my house and then, and so then you have Glacier National Park right there in your backyard. And Glacier National Park is absolutely stunning. It's such a huge attraction that they built an international airport in Kalispell. So that's another awesome thing is 15 minutes from my house is an international airport. It's a lot more expensive to fly anywhere because, you know, there's like, you walk in and like you're with everybody that's gonna be on your plane, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but uh, the international airport, so there's a lot of tourism and stuff in the summer months. So we're in probably one of the worst parts of the year. Um, a lot of gray days around this time of year, but late spring and summer, I've been here during those times and it is like just absolutely perfect weather. I mean, we're talking 70s and 80s most of the time. Um, hardly ever gets into the triple digits, if ever. And we're coming from paradise where it's consistently in the triple digits and just miserable for most of the summer. And so we'll put up on the screen, I'll have Marcus put up on the screen some of the majestic sites and lakes in Glacier National Park. Um, and this is right here in our backyard, just endless mountain biking and hiking. And, um, you know, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, Glacier is like a must see to put on your bucket list. Um, just absolutely stunning. So, you know, maybe we'll do something in the future with videos, but we'll probably just keep it comics, but um, definitely looking forward to to enjoying all that Glacier has to offer in the spring and summer. All right, so here we are coming into Whitefish. We just passed the Firebrand, which was a restaurant that honestly wasn't that good, so you're not missing much there. You got the Performing Arts Center here. This pizzeria is actually really, really good. Jersey Boys Pizzeria. Um, they have a pizza called the Garbage Can. I wanna try it next time we have a live sale, if, if they're open and we can swing it. Uh, it just has like everything on it, but I tried it. It's really good and that's good because that's the only good pizza that I've had here um, So this is the type of stuff that you get in downtown Whitefish. Obviously it is a Different caliber upscale uh, resort town is what it is. So um, Housing prices here are way way higher than Kalispell um, so it just makes perfect sense to live in Kalispell and you can come hang out and do stuff here. So we're going to go to a restaurant that is definitely my favorite restaurant yet. Is this a one way? I'll cut that part out. Um, so this is Mackenzie River Pizza Company. Garbage pizza. Absolute garbage. This is where we're going to dinner. Tupelo Bar and grill and it is a southern theme restaurant is really really good you've got great northern tons of awesome restaurants here um and you know it's not like you're really going to do any shopping or anything here it's just bougie clothes and stuff like that but it's all about the restaurants for me i'm a huge foodie i love going out and having nice dinners and eating amazing food so uh, that is a big draw for me and so you can kind of tell and so in the in the winter time when there's snow on everything and they light this place up with Christmas lights and uh, you know it's just it's just a fun little little downtown to come walk around and enjoy an evening all right, first company dinner in Montana. Remember, this is a southern theme, so we got the fried green tomatoes. We've got mussels, 
the kids got Mocktails, Princess of the West, Sunburst, and this is the second best old fashioned I've ever had. The first best being at Roselle's in Chico. Of Marcus put it up on the screen. Um, they had like different cups and glasses and ice, and they had saws and they were cutting the ice. And they had one chick behind the bar and she's doing this. And <laughs> it was just like that was the best old fashioned I've ever had. But this one's a close second. All right, let's dig in. We're, got, we're live. That is the wedge salad with some bougie croutons mm. and blue cheese and all kinds of good stuff. And some cornbread croutons. Yeah, buddy. Watermelon radish, corn, Hell yeah. red onion. For sure. Wow. Something. Hell yeah. <laughs> she gave us the description. That is some good service. I think she did actually. Oh, I didn't even see the radish. Begin. So this is a New Zealand lamb. It is served with a chimichurri on top and then a housemaid seasoning. It's gonna have a jalapeno cheddar grit underneath and then it's served with broccolini and uh, asparagus. This is a Zydeco combo. This is gonna have a scoop of like seasoned house rice. On the side it's gonna be uh, fried catfish strips and then you get some uh, three jumbo barbecue shrimp, and then a crab and crawfish cake on the side, garnished with tomato, and then that is a house-made rib a lot on the side, dipping for catfish generally, um, very Cajun feel. This is gonna be our house-made elk meatloaf with a huckleberry demi glaze on top, served with a house whip garlic, mashed potatoes, asparagus, broccolini, and fresh, you know, onion rings on top. Um, the meatloaf itself is is mostly elk, but it also has a little bit of beef and pork in it as well. I was going to say the super tender should be really good. Awesome. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. If you do need anything else, I'll be right here. All right. Do you want another old fashioned? Okay. okay, I'll be back. Thank you. All right, we've got. What, what is this, Brian? This is the gooey peachy butter cake. It literally said on the menu, don't ask, just try it. And when the waitress dropped it off, she said, don't ask me, just try it. So apparently that's the Okay, let's let's see you take a bite. Let's see it. Let's get the live. Oh, it's ice cream? A little bit of buttery cake. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> At first the reaction was like... Me? Mm. Go for it. We need to take a piece of that home. It kind of looks cheesy. Yeah. It's definitely buttery. What do you give it on a scale of 1 to 10? I mean, as far as peachy, buttery cakes go, it's a 10 out of 10. Mmm. Gem mints. All right, I got to try some. Well, thank you for coming along with us on the ride to check out the town of Kalispell and Whitefish and the new shop. Thank you to young Marcus and young Riley for moving to Montana. Yeah. Thanks for coming with me, guys. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of the video. Don't forget, we always do that monthly giveaway here on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a free slab. This month, we're giving away that Silver Age ASM. And if you subscribe to the newsletter at BriceComics.com, you're entered to win a Star Wars number one. We have an awesome WhatNot show tomorrow. If you're watching this, the day comes out Friday. We usually do WhatNot shows on Friday. Link in the description for $15 towards your first purchase. And now we can shut up about Montana. <laughs> Let's just go back to living. We'll just live and sell comics and make content and we can stop talking. I feel like I've said the word Montana so many times. I'm just going to stop saying it for a while. Get back to living. Thanks for sticking with us to the end. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.